Hello and welcome to yet another YouTube video here on this channel. In today's video we are diving into... It is two different applications, so one is called My Mind and one is called Fabric, and they are very similar. Fabric is newer, and we are going to see which one of these applications are better for you, because both of them do some things good, and some things could need a bit of improvement. So it all depends on what you need from your note-taking application, but let's quickly go over the feature set of each application before we take a look at the pricing and then uh, I tr I will try to give my final verdict of the application. So first of all we have uh, Fabric and Fabric has this recent lists right here where you can see all of your recent items and this is sort of visual. If we compare this to my mind it looks really similar. I do think though that um, the way my mind processes everything looks a lot better. That's just my personal opinion and that might vary depending on uh, what you want and need. Uh, but uh, that is just my personal opinion and um, I think it looks a little bit better, at least when it comes to this recent view. But here I can click into things. This is just a screenshot I saved for another YouTube video. What's different here is that I can ask the AI about this. This chat feature is actually not something um, that my mind has. I can check the comments here so I can add comments. I could write something here uh, like this and it would appear and I would see uh, that I have commented and the date. So that is a cool thing. Uh, but what I like the most about this is actually the similar feature, which is something uh, that you need a lot of things, a lot of items inside of the app for this to work. But basically how this works is that you get to see all the things that are similar to the thing you are looking at right now. Uh, you have the ability to add tags here uh, and uh, you can uh, do some basic things here as well like sharing, moving, adding and editing tasks. You can also change the name or I could ask the AI to name this for me. Uh, so here you can see that it has changed the name to style journal overview uh, .png because it is an image still. Uh, so a couple of things here are quite similar to my mind. Let's do this image inside of my mind here. So here we have a TLDR. This is only available on the mastermind plan, uh, which costs $12.99 each month. But here you get a TLDR uh, as well as mind tags which is just basic tagging but apart from that you have the same vibe uh, feature here which is really really similar to uh, the feature we talked about in uh, in fabric which is called similar uh, this is I think this is exactly the same feature so I can press this and I will get uh, all of the things that are similar to this right here and as you can see it does quite a good job uh, the more you have of course the better this feature becomes uh, so the same vibe feature is one of the things i like the most about my mind and what makes it really really good and you can do this with a bunch of different uh, ones so i could do it with a few different images just to see what shows up. Uh, so it does a great job at that. Uh, another thing that I like a lot better in uh, my mind is the web clipper. So these are just things I've clipped and the AI will automatically title it and give it tags. Um, and I just like the overall feel of the web clipper a lot better. So this is the My Mind Web Clipper right here. It saves things and I can add manually tags if I need to or add a mind note. Let me just go ahead and delete this right here. Um, but uh, I could uh, also uh, test out the fabric one, which is a little different. So I can do a screenshot. I can capture image or text, make a quick note, turn off annotations. So this is a little different. Uh, because just uh, it 
uh, it reminds me more of like OneNote's uh, web clipper. So I can do a screenshot and I could screenshot this for example and I could save this to my fabric and it should appear in my recents right here. And it does and it gives me a URL to that screenshot uh, and I can press this and it opens up my, my mind. Uh, but that is basically how uh, the web clipper here works. So you have the ability to to actually do uh, that. Uh, so let me just show that one more time. I can screenshot a region of this and let's save this to my mind uh, and uh, save this to fabric, sorry. And one other thing that both of the applications have is actually um, the uh, is actually um, OCR optical character recognition. So when I write something here, it sh uh, actually searches through my images as well to see if there is any text that matches. Uh, so that is also a really cool feature. Uh, if I now search for Pantone, for example, it shows me everything here. I can also search for like uh, this and it shows me this, but this also applies to the uh, name here, but you get the point, you can search for uh, for uh, text within images, which is really, really cool. Uh, and um, that actually also works inside of, uh, inside of Fabric, so I can search for a word like this, and it shows me this right here. Let me search for screenshot and it will show me screenshot as well. Uh, so here um, it will show me taking a screenshot. Let's actually search for taking instead uh, and it should pop up here again. So taking as it says right there. So both of the applications have that ability. Um, so as you can see, they are quite similar in many ways. We also have something called spaces, which is basically folders. We have the same in my mind. We have the ability to have uh, smart folders here based on tags. So whenever I tag something uh, that is a type book uh, with read later, it appears here. So basically these are folders I can add things into here so I can drag things or upload files or write a note. Uh, so this is basically if you want a little more organizational structure in your application even though that isn't needed simply because both of these applications have really good search and they utilize AI for search which removes the necessity to like uh, organize uh, as much as you would in other applications. So as you can see, they are really similar. The main differences between the application, one of them is uh, something I've mentioned that I think my mind looks a little better. I uh, feel like it feels uh, a little better as well, but uh, fabric works better with text. Uh, my mind works a little bit better with images, but this works better with text. That is the first thing. The second thing is that uh, Fabric has an AI chat so I can talk to my notes, um, which is a really cool feature, but that is something I think most applications will have at some point, the ability to talk to your notes. Uh, you also have um, connections inside of uh, Fabric and that is a major difference. So Fabric feels a lot more open, like my mind tries to be as private as possible. So I can create a sharing link here and I could share this link with someone as you can see, but it only lasts for 24 hours, whereas you can actually share things in Fabric. So that is a major difference and it shows here as well because we have uh, data connections inside of Fabric which allows us to um, connect data sources uh, that will synchronize. So iOS screenshots, Android screenshots, GitHub stars, uh, these are a few and you can vote for more. So Figma, Readwise, Bookmarks, Notion, Linear, there are a bunch here, iCloud, Local File Sync, 
So there are a bunch of connections here. So that is the major differences and it all depends on what you need. So if sharing uh, is uh, important to you and text is important to you and that's like the major things uh, and you are willing to invest in a new application, I would say that um, Fabric is a little better. But if uh, you like something that is really aesthetically pleasing, uh, looks good, feels really good, and it has been around for a while, I feel like uh, this is a lot better. So my mind is a lot better, especially if you work with a lot of images and also especially if you capture a lot of things. Uh, so I capture a lot of books, for example, and it just does such an amazing job with this. Uh, and there isn't much more to be uh, said about my mind's capturing ability. It is just so, so good. But there is one other thing and that is the pricing. So both of these applications can be considered pricey. Uh, while uh, my mind will set you back $12.99 for the plan with uh, the advanced AI reading mode, article backup, same vibe feature, AI summary. So a lot of the things I showed in this video are actually locked underneath here. But with the student of life, you get unlimited cards, intelligent bookmarking, AI image tagging, AI text recognition or image text recognition, which is OCR, smart spaces, serendipity, and it is 100% private. Uh, so you get a lot, but I would say that the mastermind plan uh, is more uh, or compares better to uh, Fabric than the student of life plan because you lose out on a lot of uh, features that Fabric has. Uh, you can pay for this yearly, which is $129 uh, or $69 or monthly $12.99 or $6.99, which is uh, a little expensive uh, when it comes to the uh, plans for Fabric. It is actually a little cheaper, but uh, they have more uh, like uh, more um, options when it comes to pricing. You have the basic plan. Uh, this is the yearly. So we will go over yearly first and monthly. Uh, you get 100 gigabyte of storage space. That is also something to keep in mind when it comes to my mind. They doesn't say any, it doesn't say anything about it here, but on the mastermind plan, you get 200 gigabytes of uh, storage. Uh, it is uh, hidden under their terms of service. Uh, so I had to, I came across it like a little randomly. You get 200 gigabytes, but they say that you can contact them if you have reached the limit to see what uh, can be done. But I have had no experience with that, so I can't say anything about that. You get 100 uh, gigabytes of storage space, uh, space, AI assistant, 100 answers. Uh, AI recap emails, you don't get the, the data connections, no file size, unlimited spaces, unlimited items, save websites offline. Uh, on the pro plan, which is um, around what it costs for uh, the uh, mastermind plan, if you paid for that monthly, uh, when you pay for this monthly, it is actually a little more expensive, but you actually get two terabytes of storage space unlimited AI assistant data connections, unlimited spaces, unlimited items, and offline uh, save websites offline, which is the same as the feature called uh, article backup. Um, so it is exactly the same thing. You get that in both of these plans. Uh, if you want more storage, uh, you can pay for the max plan, which starts to get like really, really expensive. So it all depends on what you need and what you're willing to pay. I would say that I like the pricing plan of uh, Fabric better, but I personally like the overall application of my mind a lot better. But again, it is uh, dependent on what you need. As usual, if you have any questions, feel free to leave them down below and I will try to get back to you as soon as I can. Thank you so, so much for watching today's video.